In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to copy traders, okay, on the BitGet exchange using the BitGet copy trading option, all right, and we're going to do all of this using the BitGet mobile app, all right, so that you can do this even on the go, okay. So, um, if you're new to the channel, you love videos about making money online, about crypto trading, investing, then consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published and if you don't have an account with bitget already and you want to take advantage of this bitget is a global trading exchange that you can trust and one thing that makes them stand out is this copy trading option so it means that you can copy traders without you know getting to do technical analysis but whatever result the, the trader gets you know that gets replicated in your own account all right so it's an op easy option of making money in the crypto space so what we need to do once you log into your account if you don't have an account use the link in the video description to sign up for one okay so once you download the app and you log into the app um here on the home page of the app okay um you see um this menus here okay all of these menus there are more of it in the next screen so to slide this to the next screen you need to slide this okay to the left and then it will bring you to the next screen that is the first thing you need to do and follow this instruction to copy traders and you'll be good okay so if i go ahead and slide this to the next it brings us to this star trader okay um into the next screen we'll see this option called the star trader this is what we want to select a trader that we want to copy and for those of you who are professional traders you can equally use the star trader option or menu to apply to bid get to become you know the professional trader and when you become a professional trader once your application is approved you can you know get people to copy you and you share you know from their yeah, profit as well all right it's another way of making money for yourself for instance if your trading capital is just a thousand dollars and you are always consistent in making profit you can apply okay and then people can be copying your strategy and at the end of the day whatever profit you make for for them you can get up to as high as 10 percent okay per trader you can imagine if you are doing this for 1000 traders and you are getting 10 10 percent let's say you are making profit depending on their trading um, capital you can imagine what that would be okay but this is just for copy traders okay for those who want to copy traders if i click on the start trader it brings us to the next page okay So as I said, if you want to become a, a trader, you just go ahead and apply. But our interest there is to look for traders who want to copy by just scrolling down here. Okay, once I scroll down here, you'll see traders that I selected. Okay, some of these traders are consistent on this list. Okay, you see the trader's name and then the number of persons who can copy this trade. Already this person's room is filled up. It's 1,000 over 1,000. Okay, this person is equally filled up. So here, look for any of these traders that has a space. Okay. All of the traders here, as at the time of making this video, they are all filled up. Once you see a trader you like, for instance, if I want to copy this trader, I just go ahead and highlight the person's name or username and copy it. Okay, once I copy it, I'll go back to the home page. Once I come back to the home page, click on copy trading. Okay, so once I click on copy trading, I'll go ahead and slot that person's name I copied by just, you know, pasting it on the chat, on the search option there and then click on search. And then that trader pops up all right right now the traders room is filled up so we can no longer copy this trader okay assuming it's not filled up we'll see an option that says copy we'll just go ahead and click on the copy and then we can copy this trader okay now there are two ways when it comes to copying a trader on the bitget um, copy trading platform there are two things you need to know you can copy the trader and the traders setting and let's say the trader you are copying is trading with cross margin and then the person is trading with 100x leverage it means that whenever the trader picks a trade the same setting will you know be what that will be duplicated on your account okay and um the reason why i will not advise anybody to go with this is that if you are trading with a lower capital anything less than five thousand dollars you don't need to follow the trader settings if you follow the settings of the trader you could be you know putting your account at risk because some of these traders are trading with, you know, tens of thousands of dollars and they remain in a trade for days, 
you know, in most cases for a month, for weeks or thereabouts, before the trade will go in profit. And then within this period that they are in, in that trade, the trade could be minus 10%, minus 20%, minus 30%, minus 50%. And you can imagine you trading with just like a $100, copying a trader with a like $100, and you're using the trader settings. Okay, you'll be taken out of the market even before that trade closes. All right. So if you are trading with lower capital, you don't need to use the trader's settings. You need to use your own settings. BitGet gives you the option to do that. But the same pair that the trader is trading is what that will be you know, um, reflecting in your account. So before we go ahead and select a trader here to copy, the next thing we need to do is first you need to look at the pairs you want to trade. If you want to know that uh, the pair a trader is trading, let's say we'll look for a trader here. If I come back to the copy trading, okay, let's look for a trader that has a space. All right, this trader, um, out of 300, um, he has 187 copying um, him, okay. So if I go ahead and click on this trader, once I click on it, it brings us to this page, okay. So once it brings us to this page, once it brings us to this page, the next thing we want to do, okay, um, these are the statistics and the rest, but the next thing we want to do is to click on, you know, copy trading, okay? So once we click on copy trading, it brings us to the trader's um, page. Now, these are the pairs that this trader is trading, okay? Let's assume that this is the trader we want to trade, we want to copy, and then you can click on this arrow to expand this. So if I click on the arrow to expand that, you see all the pairs that this trader is trading, almost all the crypto pairs, okay? So in this case, if you have a larger capital in your account and you want to copy this trader, you, um, for me, I don't, you don't do anything. You just copy all of this because today the trader may be trading BTC, tomorrow it could be um, Ethereum, next tomorrow it could be Bitcoin Cash and the rest. So you want to make sure that you copy all of this. But if you are trading with a little capital, let's say out of all of this token that this trader is trading, I just want to copy when the trader trades BTC, okay, and then when the trader trades Ethereum, all right, that's just the one I want to copy. Then you can go ahead and unselect all of these other ones, okay. So if you are okay with that, um, and then if I come back here, you see that 57% um, of the time, okay, this trader is trading Ethereum here. You see that it's trading Ethereum, so we can copy Ethereum, all right. And then 19%, you see all of those statistics here. Then BNB, these are the trades that this trader trades more. These are the pairs this trader trades more. So I want to copy his B, Ethereum, his DOT, and then his BNB, okay? Then I can select every other thing. Now that I know that this trader is trading Ethereum more, and then DOT and BNB, all I need to do is to do my own settings for this particular token for Ethereum, for DOT, and then for BNB before I come back to copy this trader, okay? So to do that setting, I'll come back here, all right? So come back to the home page. Once you come back to the home page, click on features. Please follow this instruction. It will help you to stay profitable when you are copying a trader. If not, you'll get disappointed at the end of the day, all right? So once you click on features, remember we are copying his Ethereum, his DOT and his BNB. So by default, it is Ethereum that is selected here. So as Ethereum is selected, the next thing we want to do is to set up our own leverage and then our own margin mode. I have copy trading going on already, so I will not be able to change all of this, but I just, I'm just showing you, okay? So once you come in here, once you select Ethereum, okay, if I come in here and then you type in or just select, since I favorite it, you see it here, okay? Once you select Ethereum, the first thing you need to do is to change the cross mode by clicking here. And change it from cross okay you change it from cross to isolated once you have little capital okay this is for you change it from cross to you know isolated and then the next thing is to change the leverage okay so i'll go ahead and click on the leverage and then make sure you are using anything between one to five x leverage don't go more than that if you have less than a thousand dollars then just use three years leverage okay go ahead and type in the leverage you want to use here but if you have a larger capital and you want to use even the 100x leverage okay you can go up to 100x leverage you can go ahead and do that okay so once you click on that go ahead and click on confirm okay we have done that for ethereum then we'll go ahead and do that for dot so just type in dot here okay so i select dot the same thing once you select dot go ahead and change the cross mode and then the leverage Always use any leverage of your choice, but make sure that you use something that is minimal so that you don't get to lose. Okay, after that, you can select the next one we need to do for is BNB. 
okay so once you select b and b you go ahead okay change the margin mode to isolated and then change the leverage to either three or four x leverage okay so once you finish all of these settings for these three pairs we now go back and copy that trader okay so if i come back to the home page i'll go ahead and click on you know copy trading so once i click on copy trading um i didn't take note of the name of that trader let's just scroll if we can see the trader again uh, I didn't take note of the trader's name. That is a problem. Okay. So I can't remember that trader's name. Um, but I guess that we're just looking for somebody who has available space. Yeah. I would have taken note of the trader's name so that I'm um, coming back here. I will just search for that trader. And then we'll go ahead and just copy the trader um i seen i can't find the trader yeah i made a mistake okay i can't find the trader but you get the the gist now okay you just get the idea all right so let's assume that that setting we did was um for this particular trader because this person has out of 1000 he has um 935 that means the person still have his space okay let's say that setting we did was for this trader okay I'll go ahead. Um, I'm not clicking on the copy trader. I'll just click, you know, on the trader dashboard here. I'll just click on the person's um, page. Once I click on it, let even see this person. Okay, this person trades um, Ethereum. Okay, trades BTC, trades Litecoin, and the rest. So if you wanted to copy this person, the same thing I showed you how to set the setting, your leverage, and your margin mode. Okay, you go ahead and set that. Okay, let's assume that we wanted to copy this trader now we have those settings done already we'll just go ahead and click on copy trading okay so once i click on copy trading it brings us to this page okay here you see all the pairs that the person is trading so we'll just click on this drop down to expand that okay you see all the pairs here now the next thing we need to do is to unselect all of this pair by just clicking on it okay once you click on it it unselects it okay it will select all of this remember we did that settings for bnb okay said so there is bnb here this person is equally trading bnb so we'll leave bnb okay then i will select every other thing and um yeah a dot and uh, ethereum that is what we did for so ethereum where is ethereum is this person okay yeah i think so so we have ethereum usdt and let me check btc and um dot the next thing i need to look for the z person trade dot okay there, i guess there is no dot there is no dot because we did the settings for dot now the trader that i did that setting for i didn't see the trader but yeah you just have the, the get the juice okay so now we now have bnb and ethereum okay so if i go ahead and click on um once i select all of this the next thing is to change it from by default it is on the basic mode if you just go ahead and click on follow it will use the traders settings so you want to make sure that you click on this advanced um settings okay make sure you turn this on if i toggle that on it gives us this option now it now allows us to use our own settings so now for the margin it says follow trader if you follow trader to use if the trader is trading with cross margin or isolated it will be the traders settings okay and then for leverage it says uh, follows traders leverage okay but we want to set ours because we switch to advanced mode that is why it gives us that option so for the um, margin i'll go ahead and select click on it and then select usdt okay it means that you are setting up your own margin and then for the leverage click on it and use features settings Using facial settings will now mean that we are using the setting we already made for this particular co um, token, which is a terror. Okay, so um, and then the leverage here where it says enter the copy trade limit is from ten dollar to three thousand dollars. Okay, what it simply means that each time a trade is open, it will be within this range, within this ten um, dollars you are putting here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put either ten dollars. Now, one thing you want to know is that the more the money you put in here the more the profit all right for instance if i put in ten dollar and this trader copies you know a trade it's triggered on my account for ethereum and it's copying with the size of ten dollar even if it is up to hundred percent roe i am only getting the hundred percent of this ten dollar okay then if you put it and um, put one thousand here it means that 
uh, with a little move in the market, you are making a bigger amount of money. Okay, but you need to have some funds in your account to be able to do that. Okay, so the minimum is 10. Let's go ahead and put 10, and then we are using the leverage we already set for our futures trading account. Okay, so you do the same thing again for the next pair. Let's say you are copying like 10 pairs, you have to adjust all of these one after the other. Okay, once you finish adjusting all of this, you go ahead and click on follow. Alright, so once you click on follow, automatically you are copying that trader. Now, because you start copying that trader doesn't mean that a trade will immediately be taken on your account. Okay, it is only when this trader takes a new trade that is going to reflect in your account. Okay, so that is basically all I needed to share with you here. I hope I was able to explain it to your understanding. If you do gain value from the video, do subscribe. Okay, subscription doesn't cost anything. Subscribe, hit the subscribe button. That is one way you encourage us. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Okay, that is one way you encourage us to continue to provide this free content for you. Okay, so once you finish copying a trader, all right, once you finish copying a trader, if you want to view the trading statistics, once the trade is taken, you will see it on your features. If I come back to the home page, okay and then you go to your officials account here all right once a trade is taken you will see all of them in your in your in your in officials reflecting them in your officials. if you want to see the statistics of the trading okay that is that you have copied just click on copy trade okay so once you click on copy trade if you want to view your statistics you see here okay where it says my copy trades you just click on it and it will show you the statistics of the trades that you are copying the trader you are copying okay all of these you see ongoing copy trading as you can see here um all of the trades that i'm copying right now is all in profit and uh, that's a good one some are two dollars 65 cent you know three dollars and, and the rest so all of these trades are all in profit you'll see all of those statistics here all right once you have, you see the statistics here you can go ahead and you know close any of these trade you if you feel that you don't want to wait for the trader to close the trade you just click on close okay and the trade will be closed in profit okay you can click here to see the history and then for all of the traders you are copy you are following just click on my traders and you'll see the traders you can edit the setting adjust everything there and you are good to go i hope this video was helpful if it is give it a thumbs up if you want you can share it with others once again to learn more you can join my telegram group using the video the link in the video description don't forget you know to hit the like button and if you are new here once again subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.